Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology once again and after many requests of a carrier video on Ashtag Varga, how to use Ashtag Varga to analyze one's career, what will the person do, job, business, what kind of job, what kind of business, when will the person do what, alright, so to answer such queries without looking at the chart, I mean without looking at the planets, just by using Ashtag Varga. So here is the video and recently I made two videos and many people appreciated those videos. So many people also told me that they have shared these videos much more than they have shared my other videos. So that is my request to you uh, in the beginning that please share this video also with uh, anybody you know who wants to learn Ashtag Varga or anybody who is inquisitive about astrology because most of the times this is a topic which is ignored by the astrology community and they just go on the basis of points. More than 28 is good, less than 28 is bad which is totally not correct. So let us use the power of Ashtag Varga. It's a very 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 powerful tool. It can be used statically or and also it can also be used dynamically. It's a very powerful tool and there are some other videos on Ashtag Varga which I will make. So I will make the next video will be on uh, how to judge uh, the love life of a person. For marriage I already did but now for love life I will do and another video I will do on how to see transits with, uh, with Ashtag Varga and another video I might do on health so these are the topics these are the areas which people have been requesting me and I might do also on childbirth later on okay and if you want me to make any other video on Ashtag Varga for any other topic then you can let me know then I will try to uh, fit in that topic somewhere in the coming weeks okay and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and share this with whoever you know who is interested in astrology as I said and yes if you want a consultation from me regarding your chart then please go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website and yes God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay and uh, before i start this video uh, some people have been requesting me to uh, put the south indian style chart also beside well i would love to do that but unfortunately uh, in my laptop uh, jagannath hora is not working due to some reason uh, because in macbook you have to uh, install some softwares to use exe files and only then you can install so hopefully in the near future that problem will be resolved and you will also see the South Indian uh, style chart side by side. But in case you are not aware of how to read this chart, the North Indian style chart, well, uh, I will go a bit slow in this video so that I can also explain it to you. So whenever you want to see career, the most important thing is to see the first house, okay, for every house in fact. And specifically for career and that too in these days. So now whoever doesn't know how to read North Indian charts. So this is the first house. If you see my pointer, this house which you see is the first. Then you go like the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, ten, eleven, twelfth. Okay, this is the first house. So whenever I say see the first house, you need to check the sign. So number eight is there. Okay, so Scorpio is the rising. So when I say first house, don't jump to this column, this pointer which you see. Many people are asking uh, how to read this also. Okay, so whenever I say first house, see the number and go to that number. So when I say first house, you should go to number 8 which is Scorpio. Okay, so don't confuse this and many people have been asking me how these points are coming and all. Well, uh, it, it's a very long explanation. So maybe that I will do in some other video but now in astrosage.com you can get this report for yourself okay so if you don't know where you can get this go to astrosage.com and you can get this report okay so now 
let us start analyzing the carrier so first we need to check the first house so go to the first house which is the sign scorpio here so what do you see here try to analyze this try to pause this video and if you have watched the other two videos on astag Burga, then pause this video my kind request and try to see what is going on and if you were an astrologer and if you were to give some prediction for this person's career not by seeing the 10th house not by seeing the 6th house not by seeing the 11th just by seeing the ascendant then what would you say what what is that which you will tell the person pause this video okay so i hope you came to some reasonably good conclusions all right so now let us analyze sun is contributing three points moon is contributing four the highest points have been contributed by mars and venus point to be noted okay so now see what is happening here mars is the lord of the ascendant okay and it is also the sixth lord because this sign where you see number one is the sixth house if you count one two three four five six and venus is the seventh lord this is sixth and this is seventh so venus is the seventh lord and it is the twelfth lord because libra is following the twelfth house eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so now the majority points which is 12 points out of i mean uh, the uh, topmost points six and six the maximum number is being contributed by mars and venus okay so now because mars is the ascendant lord that means the ascendant lord is contributing uh, maximum to the ascendant this means the person can be stubborn at times and the person is very much focused on himself and uh, this is a lady star so she will be very much focused on herself and uh, she will like to uh, do things her way it's like my way or the highway okay so therefore you could suggest this person that it is better for you to have your uh, own work okay own business own consulting something like that because this is the ascendant you see the ascendant is very important okay but now you see venus is also uh, giving six points venus is also the seventh lord okay so now mars is the lagnesh and the sixth lord so it's a very tricky situation sixth lord also shows job and the seventh lord also shows business okay venus is the seventh lord and twelfth lord so so it's like saying the person should do something of her own it can either be a job it can either be business okay because both the sixth and the uh, seventh lords are contributing equally to the ascendant but now if you check the other houses of money which are the houses of money the second sixth tenth and the eleventh okay so whichever houses are contributing more to these houses finally that is what the person will end up doing okay but because the lagna lord is contributing six to the lagna so number one suggestion is even if you do a job it has to be uh, it cannot be something which you don't like and you are just doing it has to be something which you like to do or which you want to do yourself that's why you are doing not because you are getting some paycheck there okay so the conception of self is very important for this person all right let's go to the second money house uh, sorry i mean the first house of money which is the second house so there are 28 points let us go to number nine because sagittarius is there so let us check who is contributing how much you see moon is contributing five mercury is contributing five and venus is contributing five so this means moon which is the ninth lord of education i mean teaching you could say is contributing five then mercury as the 11th lord is contributing five this is fantastic okay if you see here this this five okay fantastic this is the relations between if the lords of the second tenth and eleventh contribute more points to each other's houses it is the best thing that you can have for your career 
okay so now mercury is the 11th lord because virgo is here mercury is contributing five points this is phenomenal this is mind blowing then venus as the seventh lord of business is contributing five points and how much is mars contributing here mars is barely contributing two points okay so if you ask her uh, how much money do you save or what do you want to do to save more money then she would maybe answer i don't want to do job i want to do business because the seventh lord is contributing more than the sixth lord now the eleventh lord is contributing five points you see mercury here so this means the person now this person has a elder brother this girl and i know his elder brother very well he's a very good friend of mine so therefore i suggested this girl that whenever you take any primary decision related to finances always consult your elder brother okay or any elder sister or any elder sibling is very important but she has only one elder sibling which is her brother so i said uh, you must consult your brother okay and you could also consult your father because moon is the ninth lord of father okay and venus is the seventh lord so now she's not married but maybe after she gets married uh, she could also take advice from her husband regarding finances because these three planets are contributing uh, maximum when it comes to her savings okay so if she wants to open some fixed deposit or she wants to invest uh, in some mutual funds or something like that uh, she should take uh, advice from these three people you see the father the elder brother and her husband and uh, next let us go to the sixth house sixth house shows job okay so there are 27 points in the sixth house so now some people will say oh 27 is less than 28 so maybe that is why she will like to do a business more than doing job no that's not the case don't just see the points try to individually analyze so check what is happening here number one which is the sixth house aries go go to this so just check who is contributing how much well mercury is contributing maximum and again as i said if the lords of the money houses the second sixth tenth and eleventh are giving more points to each other it is the best thing to happen for finances so mercury is the eleventh lord it is giving five points to the sixth house it is very good now mercury is also the eighth lord you see because gemini is falling here so uh, it could happen in now eighth house is in laws okay so it could happen that uh, after she gets married uh, it can happen that suppose uh, she is doing some business her in-laws may tell her that why are you doing business you should do job okay uh, these kind of things could happen because the uh, but even if the in-laws say it will be very good for her because uh, mercury is also the 11th lord okay so suppose mercury was also the ninth lord then the father could have said like this okay or if mercury was the fourth lord the mother could have said but the point here is because it is the eleventh lord it will ultimately be good only for her whatever she does regarding to mercury okay so that means if she does a job she could be into sector of mercury that could be very beneficial for her mercury controls the finance sector okay teaching is also under mercury a bit of the mundane sciences i would say mundane things like social studies politics geography mathematics these kind of things will come under mercury now how much is jupiter contributing jupiter is contributing four venus is also four so other points are decent almost all are equal you see one two three four four houses are contributing four planets are contributing equally and mars is not contributing that much so that means mercury has the full say here okay and whatever mercury says will happen so if she goes to find a job she might try in the finance sector or in the teaching sector depending on her profession okay now let us go to the other house of money which is the uh, 10th house let us check the 10th house or how about checking the 7th house before checking the 10th house let's check the 7th house number 2 is there here Taurus 
so now you go sec seventh house jupiter is having the highest amount of points okay jupiter and mercury so uh, this means if she does some collaboration uh, with somebody or she does some business or some online teaching uh, then this will be related to jupiter and mercury okay and uh, jupiter here is the second lord and the fifth lord which second house as they say is the house of sanskar or sanchit dhan sanchit gyan and fifth lord also shows intelligence so teaching profession could be good for her and now here uh, mercury also contributes five points okay so that is also very good that could also take her towards teaching but here in the sixth house mercury would have a different meaning okay but here because jupiter is also associated the this could specifically mean teaching or taking some kind of an administrative role okay of course sun also has five points here okay so that means if she goes into a business uh, she has to be the leader she cannot be uh, going into some equal partnership okay so it, it could be that she is the main boss and there are two three other people uh, who are under her and they are listening to what she is tell telling okay and they are doing what she is saying now let's go and look at the 10th house so 10th house has 29 points number 5 leo so let's go to this so who are the planets which are contributing maximum there are three contenders you see here one is sun the other one is mercury and the other one is saturn saturn is here finally saturn is here all right so sun is the 10th lord so again as i said the lords of 2nd 6th 10th and 11th if they contribute more to each other's houses this is mind blowing so 10th lord and 11th lord mercury i mean 10th lord sun and 11th lord mercury is contributing hugely you see here so this is again fantastic for career so now moon mars they are contributing equally and uh, venus is contributing quite less and jupiter is also contributing decent okay so now primary contenders are sun mercury and saturn so sun is the 10th lord now what about saturn saturn is the fourth lord and the third lord okay so if she wants to now if she asks you that i want to open a channel in youtube what will happen if i open will i become famous will i have more subscribers okay now how will you answer that question you have to check if the third lord is contributing towards the 10th house or the 11th house or the lagna okay because these three houses are the house of fame so saturn as the third lord is contributing quite a bit to the 10th house okay to leo here you see saturn is contributing five points so you could tell her that she could be successful in youtube now if she asks you will i be successful in real estate should i venture into real estate well then fourth house and 10th house connection then also saturn is the fourth lord then also your answer should be yes okay now what is one area which may not give her that level of fame which is that one area which is venus you see so venus is hardly contributing anything it's like quite less two points only so what does this mean this means that uh, venus is the 12th lord so if she asks you should i stay in india in my home country or should i go abroad for my career so then you see the 12th lord is contributing uh, 12th lord is venus he's uh, contributing only two points and fourth lord saturn is contributing five points so it is better to stay in your home country than to go abroad okay but now here is the catch the catch is because it is saturn and it is contributing five points although she will be successful in her homeland but uh, it will involve a lot of uh, hard work okay it will not happen very easily but better to do hard work and be successful rather than being lazy and not doing anything and not being nothing happening in your life okay which is like venus because uh, venus is hardly contributing anything okay then sun is contributing five points sun is the 10th lord so that means she wants very strong powerful authority in her field okay otherwise she will not like that place she will not like to 
hear what others tell her she will like to make others listen to what she wants okay that is like her nature and mercury as the 11th lord again the elder siblings opinion is very important on the career you see this is phenomenal now let us go to the 11th house which is the most important house for finances especially so there are 29 points here and if you go to number 6 which is Virgo go to this so then what do you see here now you will see Jupiter is contributing whooping 7 points okay and moon is contributing 6 points so what did I tell in the beginning if the 2nd, 6th, 10th and the 11th lords contribute to each other's houses this is great for money so now you see Jupiter is the second lord of financial savings is contributing seven points this is massive this is huge to the 11th house okay and Mercury as the 11th lord itself he is contributing five points which is again phenomenal then who are the other contenders one is moon okay so moon Jupiter moon and Mercury these three are the main contenders so that means Jupiter and Mercury is becoming very important you see so teaching is very important Jupiter Mercury is contributing 12 points here then again in 10th house it is contributing 9 points okay so Jupiter and Mercury which means teaching and studying uh, is very important for us this also means that uh, whichever profession she chooses uh, will need the, uh, that she keeps upgrading her technical and educational skills all the time so this this is like telling uh, this person will be studying whole life okay now why do I say that because just because it's it, it is Jupiter and Mercury no that's not the reason there are other reasons you see the ninth Lord is moon and fifth Lord is Jupiter okay so the houses 5 and 9 also show education and your inner skills and your inner abilities hidden talents so these two are contributing maximum you see moon is contributing 6 and Jupiter is contributing 7 so this is this means that the person has to always keep learning new new technologies okay otherwise if the person is just stagnant and sitting in one place and not learning anything uh, this person's career will be very badly affected okay so that is how you know what are the sources which can give money to this person okay so if somebody is asking about money primarily then go to the second and the eleventh okay so which means in this case you have to check Sagittarius and you have to check Leo okay nine and five so just check who is contributing how much which houses they are lording then if somebody is asking about fame power position authority go to the 10th and the 11th and the lagna okay so that means you will have to check 8 5 and 6 okay so 8 this is Scorpio then this is Leo this is Virgo this is what you have to check okay so therefore what is the conclusion now you have to take a pen and a paper and you have to write down which planets are contributing what in which houses okay so it will depend on what the person is asking you so if suppose tomorrow the person comes and asks you what should I do in career okay so then you have to analyze all these houses the first house the sixth house the second house the sixth house tenth house and the eleventh house because career is not just just see one house and it's finished okay it consumes 8 to 10 hours of everybody's life so 4 to 5 houses are involved so you need to check the houses but suppose some uh, somebody comes and says uh, my career is going fine can you tell me how I can make more money then specifically check the 2nd and the 11th so now suppose somebody comes and tells you that can you please tell me how I will be more famous okay so then you check the ascendant and the 10th and the 11th okay somebody comes and asks you uh, how about my job then just check the sixth house somebody asks you how about my business then go and check the seventh and the tenth okay and the eleventh also so this is how you have to 
answer when people ask you questions so not just that oh your uh, seventh house is you know 28 points so it is good if you do business okay so business is fine but when you check the seventh house Taurus you see that uh, Jupiter is you know uh, contributing quite a bit here and Sun is contributing quite okay so she has to have uh, more authority in the business she will not uh, she will not be very happy with uh, by going into business partnership with anybody who is more of an equal okay so that is how you analyze and now depending on the dashas these things will vary okay very very doesn't mean this will change but the focus will change okay so for example somebody is uh, undergoing mars mahadasha for example okay so then you know the houses one and six are very 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 important so they will dominate all the other houses okay and of course wherever mars is placed in her chart okay so that means now you have to check scorpio so suppose this girl runs mars mahadasha okay so then you have to see where where scorpio is this is number eight and then you have to check where aries is okay so now temporarily what happened which what will happen which planets are contributing most to these two houses will have the primary say okay so now you see the interesting fact here go to scorpio and see what is happening venus is contributing and mars is contributing you see so now venus suddenly becomes very important in the chart so suddenly when mars dasha starts you might feel that this person calls you and says hey i think i want to go to foreign lands and if she asks you what what should you answer now you see that's the uh, that's the difficulty here you see saturn who is the fourth lord how much is saturn contributing he is barely contributing anything you see and the 12th lord is contributing six points it is like there's no comparison okay no comparison so this means when Mars Dasha gets activated, this person will want to go abroad, okay? But uh, the question is, should she go abroad, okay? And, but, and then it will matter why she is going. So now suppose she says, uh, I want to go for a master's and come back to India and settle in India and have a career in India. Then that's fine, okay? because in the 10th house the fourth lord is contributing five points and venus the 12th lord is contributing barely second points said two points okay but now for education let us check uh, how is mars okay so suppose mars the is running so now for education the houses are uh, primarily the fourth the fifth and the ninth okay so Shani is the fourth lord, uh, this, uh, not, not too many points, one point only. Then who is the fifth lord? Jupiter, how much is Jupiter contributing? Five points, still good enough. And who is the ninth lord? Ninth lord is moon, you see. So four points. So this is four plus five, nine and one, ten. Uh, which is not too many points, I would say. Okay. So then you, uh, now what will happen, this person will want to go abroad for some reason because the 12th Lord has 6 points here, for some reason. So then you have to tell the person that uh, if you want to go for education, that's fine. Uh, but for career purposes, if you think you will fully settle abroad and make a career outside of India, uh, well, that may not be a very good uh, very good suggestion for her okay because in scorpio it is very less okay and uh, even if you see here in aries uh, even in aries there is no uh, like venus has four points which is again more than saturn so again she will want to go abroad okay and uh, mercury has five points so you could tell her you could go to study some course like business analytics or business intelligence these kind of courses okay or if you see scorpio then uh, mars mars has six points here okay 
then you could suggest her something to do with uh, something to do with fire or arms ammunition if if she is interested this kind of thing she could do okay or oil also at times although oil is at times represented by saturn but if it is related to fire and all this uh, it could also be represented by mars okay so these are two courses which she can do abroad or do if she goes abroad but uh, as a permanent settlement for career in abroad this it is not recommended okay so the best suggestion you could give her is go go to a foreign land if she wants to go not that you tell her to go if she wants to go and uh, tell her to come back and settle in india because the 10th house has more points for saturn okay rather than venus now of course it's not only the 10th house you have to check the other houses also so in 11th house venus and saturn has similar points okay so not a big difference both are saying the same thing now go to sagittarius here again venus has more okay so you have to very intelligently understand what to say and depending on the dashas you have to uh, try to calculate what will be good for the person uh, compare in comparison to the overall chart okay so now for example in this chart in majority of the houses of money uh, going abroad is not recommended for her but the problem is in mars this 12th lord is very strong you see okay and because it is also the seventh lord so the the girl could say uh, that i want to do some business partnership by going abroad okay this kind of thing she could say so you have to now see so that which is indicating in the dasha is not indicated in her majority of her planets okay so now you have to talk with the person what he, what does the person want in her life in other areas and then by that by after talking and deliberating you have to decide uh, what could you best suggest the person okay so it is not just you see these numbers and you give a judgment it's not like that okay so and another question many people had asked me rahu ketu doesn't have numbers how to decide uh, well uh, just check where rahu and ketu are placed okay and take those numbers so suppose rahu is in leo so then you have to see uh, where leo is so then you have to analyze according to leo okay and there are unlimited possibilities and permutations and combinations which can be done and i will try my best to do uh, some other topics in the next videos and thank you very much for your patient hearing and if you like this video please share it and please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if you want a consultation from me then uh, please go to my website down in the description section okay God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you shall find him. Thank you very much.